Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. If you caught the previous video where we were working on Dirt Perfect's wheel loader, then you know this is exactly where we left off in that video. And now we're picking up here. In this video, we're gonna get this thing all buttoned up, put back together, including the pump on the back side. But the main thing we're doing, we gotta go down and get the Mac. We're gonna change the fan clutch in the Mac. That's the priority. Let's start there. Mac truck. It's just been a while. So this is what we're replacing. The fan clutch up here. Okay. Looks good. Let's see if it starts. She normally does pretty good though. make sure I have to make sure I got enough room to get the hood open I still got the 855 sitting there you see that oh hush don't go through the garage door it just dumps the clutch obnoxiously Okay. Inches to spare. <laughs> so we have pretty good access here. I think we'll be okay. I just want to make sure we address something real quick. If you have the slightest inkling that this guy knows what he's doing, let's just go ahead and take care of that. And I have no clue. In fact, when Mike said you need to replace the fan clutch, I said, where's that? Uh, on the fan, I, you know, no tricks in that name. Glued and stapled, of course. Why wouldn't you? You wanna see the most awkward way to open a box? 
I'll show you. Look at that, would you? Well, step one here is gonna be get the old one off. Can I grab that? Absolutely. Yep. What's our access like? I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be taking off. I know he just put this one on because uh, he had it as a spare and the other one went out so he put this one on and these have been off recently and these have been off recently so I'm going to take these off and assume that that whole thing needs to come out that's going to be my guess the difference I'm seeing here though is there's no airline on that one and on that one there is an airline so I'm trying to figure out where the airline is at that's supposed to go on there we've got ourselves a mystery it's going to be in here because the one that was on there before the spare also had an airline coming off of it. So it's going to be here somewhere. What does that mean? Time out. What does unplanned change mean? I'm going to leave this job with more questions than answers. Yeah, it's going to help if you... Lefty Lucy, that thing. There we go. Whatever makes you happy, GoPro makes me happy. That's a plastic. Okay. Is there anything metal? No, negative. Which way she wants to go, she'll tell us. Okay. Now we're we catching on. We're just kind of giving her some wiggles here. And then maybe a spin up and out. Oh, buddy. Okay. Good news, found the airline, it's down here. Comes up from the bottom side. That's probably a crucial piece of information. Right like that, I'm guessing. That is the part that broke out of the old one. I wish I still had the old one. Oh, I do, it's in my car. I'll get in a second and show you what failed on it. But we need to take that out. Are these the same, same size? Okay, let's see what happens here. We'll cut her off. Should have plenty. And this piece goes on. Like that. See that? And you got this little piece. It goes on top like that. And then that little piece fits inside there and you tighten it down it compresses the hose onto the little barb. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. I think we can leave that just like this. And then once we get the fan in, we can just up the bottom side. We'll try it. We got to take the fan off this and put it on the new one. So we'll just, we'll do it right here. We got a fancy rolling stool. Where did, I don't know where that came from, but I'm certainly not mad about it. doing on here it's got the airline coming out the bottom so see that airline right there do you do you
wrong side of that thing. But if we come this way just a little bit, which we should be able to do. There we go. It fits. It's perfect. I'm crazy. Sorry. Sitting here doing this, how am I gonna get to that daggone airline now? Because it's in front. The airline connection is up in here somewhere. I don't know. So here's the airline flopping around, and it's gotta go up here, up front. He's got some stubbies. Let me grab a stubby. He's got these little stubby wrenches. Perfect for this. Lines pushed up tight. It's going good. We're getting there. It's going good. We're getting there. Line feels good and tight in there. I think we're all right. Let's flip it on. Let's see if it works. Let's fire it up. Now we should be able to fire it up and flip this switch right here. And the fan should take off for us. Just through the back wall, you know? Pull through a garage. So it'll kind of free spin a little bit with just the engine spinning, but you'll see the difference whenever I flip the switch, you'll see it actually engage. You should be able to tell the difference. And then let's get the Skag lawnmower and bring it in here because I don't know how to do that. I only had a little bit of time this afternoon to do that. I'm gonna get that back down to the lot and I have an idea. All right. Gonna need those. It's just impractical to fill the whole truck with Pepsi cans. One, that's a lot of cans, and two, I don't really want to inconvenience them. I just kind of want to make them laugh a little bit. A piece of cardboard should do the trick. Let me slide it forward just a little bit. No. Oh. Come on. And then, from this side, Ever so carefully. Here we go. You take your cans. Now you want to put the mouth side up. You don't want a bunch of spillage. We're not trying to make a mess. And we're just going to load this side up. I mean, he left this one right here for me. What am I supposed to do with it? That should work. 
this joke requires two things for it to work really well. One, he has to be the next person to drive the truck. It could very easily be me. And two, he has to have his camera rolling. If we don't get it on camera, did it even happen? You guys just gotta stay tuned to Dirt Perfect's channel and see what happens with it. Here's the original fan clutch that was on there. Remember, he put a spare on there after this one broke. But uh, here's what happened. This was the airline. See where the airline connected? And then that went in there. That broke off. So the airline just broke out of there and you can't really rebuild, rebuild those. You gotta buy a whole new one. Kind of a bummer, but he should be good to go now on that. And if it falls off going down the road, well, we all know who did it, you know? We'll, we'll just all be in this together at this point. So the pump cover is not done. I just came off a shift. I called them this morning, asked if they had it finished yet. They said they did not, but they would have it later this week. So we'll have to do that at a later time, but that's okay. I've got something else I can do that I've never done before. We can service this skag. That should be a good time, huh? Don't you think? What could go wrong? Good news is we got the kind of good jump pack out here ready to go. Okay. Well, I'm assuming, let's see, there's a key over here. Let's pry for the blade. You probably just turn it, right? Hold on, there might be a fuel shut off. Let's see if there's a fuel shut off. Might be, it's possible. Where's the fuel? Where you put the gas in this rig? Oh, over here. I don't see any kind of shut off. Well, let's just give her some choke and see what happens. Excuse me, sir. There's gotta be a fuel shut off. It would have at least tried. It's not even trying. There's gotta be something over here. Let's see, fuel tank. Oh, just charge, just bump it. See if it'll, no? Okay. There's gotta be. Line. Oh, there sure is. It's right down here. Can you, can you, but it's open. It's wide open. A little fuel filter, a little secondary fuel filter into the magic box. Well, I mean, we just might as well. It's got gas in it. It's just, it's not happy. deck up. How do you raise the deck on this rig? That's... There we go. Here's a Skag 72 inch advantage deck, saber tooth. That all sounds pretty fancy. We're gonna change some filters, change some blades, do some fun stuff to it. Let's see what happens. So we've got this oil filter for Briggs and Stratton. And we've got, look at that, OEM filters. Oh yeah, she gets the big bucks for the uh, hydraulic. Pop the hood on this bad boy. There we go. She's a three cylinder gas. It's actually a Vanguard, but uh, Briggs and Stratton owns Vanguard, maybe. Someone in the comments knows better than I do. NGK spark plugs? I mean, should we put a cold air intake on her too, bud? It's not terrible access, pretty easy to get to. Oh, two 
three quarters. We're, just, we're getting serious on the three quarters. These aren't in order. There we go. Looks good. Oil filters right down here. And it, who serviced this last? Who put all of this stuff on here hand? Amazing. Do it on the bottom too. And I'll write the date. Somebody made the comment the other day. I wrote the date like this. Somebody made the comment the other day. I had one 1822. They said there's not 18 months in a year. And it always blew my mind. We had an exchange student one year and we learned this from her. Here we go month, day, year. Some places go day, month, year. Don't know. I don't know why it's different, but some places are just different. But that's how we do it here. Month, day, year. Isn't that wild? It's amazing. The things you learn. Need to look up the oil capacity for this. Luckily, There's the name of it right there, so I can Google that real quick and see what my oil capacity is going to be. Of course, we'll check in on the dipstick, but it's just nice having a little bit of a pre-plan. Did it really? Did that just happen? You gotta be kidding me. Well, it couldn't have gone far. Poke a little hole in it. Success. Let's fire the thing up, let it run for just a minute or so. The next thing is a hydraulic filter. Which should be. I'll try here. There it goes. Oh, maybe there we go. All right. I don't know how much oil is going to come out here. We're gonna find out. We're real close to finding out. Not a whole lot. Now the dealer did tell me, he said it didn't matter on the hydraulic, or on the oil, because it's a side mount or horizontal mount, whatever you wanna call it. But he did say on this hydraulic filter to pre-fill it and let it soak before he put it on. So I did. See how the oil on the dipstick looks now after sitting for a little bit. See, we need to add just a little bit more. There has to be a way to measure the hydraulic fluid in this rig. But if there's the filter, so what supplies the filter? That's what we're looking for, right? Right, I would think so. What supplies the filter? A hose right here. And that hose goes. Hydraulic tank is under the seat. Does this flip up? Oh yeah. Oh, well, now we're getting somewhere. There's the hydraulic tank. 
You think it's part of the cap? It is. It is built into this. So I'll show you a little closer here. He's talking about this hole. This has a lip, so it goes in like that. He says you want the oil an inch below that hole. That's what he's saying at the dealer. If I pull that out, you can see where the oil ring is. It's right about there. So we need to add a little bit. So with the light on there like that, I know you guys can't see it from the angle, but I can look down that tube and I can actually see where that hole's at. We ought to give her a little bath while she's up here. She's got a lot of buildup on her. Okay. Got that all cleaned out. Let's see if we can figure out the blades on this thing. Think I can lift it from there? He has brand new blades he wants to put on here. So, after a little investigation, I think I can drop these from the top side. We're gonna try it. Went pretty good. Doing, yeah, we're making good progress here. Maybe a bigger impact. A little bit of this. Never hurt anything. Let's just forget the big, let's just get a breaker bar. Let's try that. Let's look at the threads and make sure they look normal. I don't see anything going on there. Yeah, like that. That should lock her in. There we go. Looks like it's going to fall right out for us. Perfect. There we go. But this one is different. It doesn't have holes in it. They just, they got to throw you for a loop. Probably not the solution that Skag wants, but here we go. I think that one's gonna fall out for us too. Yep. We'll just give this one some gentle taps with a dead blow, see if Piece of cake. Stack them like that. There's definitely some noticeable wear, but. Call me cheap, I'd sharpen those up and run them another season. I'll let them hold on to them. Up through the hole. I want to lift it up and then we'll use the jack to hold. Move my fingers. Needs to catch right there. Lap. Right, sure, hold it in place for me. 
And I'll use the impact to put them back on, I think. Do the rest of them. I think that'll work fine. I'm gonna try a bigger steel hammer. Yeah, that's all seized up. I'm not gonna waste time trying to get that off. Since he's got a new one, let's just cut it. Then we're just done with it. We don't have to. What I need off of it though, I know you're thinking why not just Use that one. I need, I need this spacer off of that for me to be able to slide that on the other one. Okay, so I can put that on the new bolt. Should be good to go. So the skag is all done, wrapped up. I rinsed it off with the hose outside a little bit. It needs pressure wash, but we'll get there when it gets warmer. The main thing is the bulk of all the grass and everything's out of there. So hopefully we don't see Mike with this on fire and we should be okay there. Fingers crossed the blades all stay underneath too. You know what I mean, Mike? Wouldn't that be something? That would be handy. Blades underneath? Yeah, they're crucial. You want them under there. You don't want them anywhere else. I don't know what could go wrong. And we're just waiting on the pump cover for the 855 and we'll get that all put back together. And you drove the Mac the other day, right? Yep. And the, uh, the fan stayed on? The fan stayed on, the Pepsi cans did not stay in the door. Though. Was your camera on? No, the gunner was not happening. Gunner was... <laughs> he opens the door. Gunner opened the door? He opens the door. <laughs> and the cans go all around him. He goes, Dad! I said, Captain. <laughs> oh, man. I told him, I said, two things have to happen for that joke to work. He has to have his camera on, and he has to be the next one to drive it. No camera, and it was Gunner. <laughs> that might have been a fail. Oh, well. All right. Well, thanks for the work. I'll see you in a couple months, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.